Good morning and welcome to another episode of Nicole and Miko. We've made it over to Baños, which is one of the adventure capitals of Ecuador. This is our second stop in Ecuador and if you caught our last episode, we were just in the Amazon jungle with our incredible friends, Kayla and James. We're here all the way from Canada and the four of us are going to go and explore the city and see how much we can pack into two days. So the first thing that we're going to try today is some um, bike riding. So I think it's about five bucks to rent a bike with a helmet and we're gonna take it down an 18 kilometer route over to the waterfalls. And the road down to the waterfalls is actually super, super nice because it's about 17 or 18 kilometers and it's all downhill, which makes for a great, great start to the morning. This is what I'm here for. Down. Required. We made it. Pailon del Diablo, which is Devil's Cauldron. So now we walk I don't know how long and we get to a beautiful waterfall. Oh, I can feel already. I already feel the mist. We've been seeing people like coming back the other way and they are absolutely soaked. So I think we're going to find out why. Oh my God, here we go. It's so loud too. Uh, you would not want to be caught at the bottom of that. So in order to go up to the higher viewpoint, we have to actually cross underneath this really tiny little crawl space. All right, this is it. Oh, we got someone coming down. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Basically, we're going underneath or behind the waterfall. We're shower, so we're pulling our raincoats. to go right up to like the base of the waterfalls and you can go behind it and like crawl through stuff. That was really nice. Yeah, really, really awesome. I think I thoroughly enjoyed it. We are now soaking wet. We got a hike up and then we are on to the next activity of the day. We have to go back to Baños with our bikes, but instead of going all the way back uphill, you can actually rent like a truck that will take you back to Baños for like $3. All right, it's been a whopping four minutes since we dropped off the bikes. <laughs> We're ready for the next activity, which is a circuit. I feel like it's like an adult jungle gym. I think it's gonna be cool. Like <laughs> <laughs> All right, how are you guys feeling? Excited. Nervous. <laughs> are you excited? Yeah, I'm oh, a yeah. little nervous. Right. So we just crossed over the Canyon San Martin and the Rio Pastaza River. It's a good start and a good setup for all this high wire activity. I think it'll be good. First activity is repelling. That's what we're all most afraid of, I think. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
just got to enjoy the view. Watch me get a huge gust of wind and it'll just fly. Right. Okay. Very good. Where did they go? <laughs> One died. Then we go to a three wire bridge, which just looks like a tight rope, across a canyon. And I think this is all that's holding us on. How is it? All right, I couldn't take any video across, but that was pretty good. Not too bad. No, I would repel like eight more times before I do this again. This was freaking scary. So I think that was way scarier than repelling. Way scarier. <laughs> Okay, time for the big ladder, back over the gorge. All right, here's the cake. Much, much better than the previous two. So our last activity is zip lining. We're gonna go together, Superman style. Are the ropes good? Oh! <laughs> Is it okay? It's okay. Oh, oh I'm oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god, where does it end? <laughs> I was so much fun. <laughs> totally terrifying to give us absolutely no warning. It was like we were lifted off. And then all of a sudden, swing! There we went. <laughs> oh, I guess we're going now. It's just like oh. the harnesses are on, you hear them doing something, and all of a sudden, like the platform lowers beneath your feet, and then you're, you're zoom, you're going. You're just gone. Well, that was way more fun than I thought it was gonna be for just 20 bucks a head. Um, and we are totally exhausted. That was a very full day, and we have another very full day again tomorrow. So see you there. In case you wanted to check out these guys, they did an awesome job today. We felt super safe. It was adrenaline pumping. They're called Parque Adventura San Martin. We'll put a link in the description. It is day two. This morning we woke up with a lot of rain. So we had an activity planned that we are going to have to postpone, but it cleared up. So we rented a set of wheels, which we will show you in a minute. And we came to this incredible viewpoint. So the viewpoint is called Luna Volcan, which is only like a 10 minute drive outside the city. Mm -hmm. And there's a cafe up here that serves like really nice, like chocolate, drinks, and yeah. also coffee and things like that. So it is an awesome place to just grab a cup of coffee, enjoy the view, hopefully get a glorious day like we are now having, and just enjoy. <laughs> Someone promised me rain and clouds. <laughs> the weather in Banos right now has been actually like kind of unpredictable. Like sometimes it's rainy, sometimes it's sunny. And what's really interesting about the weather is that you can't Google what the weather in Banos is. So we learned that the weather stations are all up like high on the hills so that when you search weather in Baños, you're gonna get a wrong reading for what the weather's like actually in the, in the town down in the valley. Unfortunately, Nicole <laughs> prepared wrong. I misprepared. It's fine. Rapaging will fix everything. So Luna Volcan, where we are right now, is actually a hotel. And so they have these beautiful buildings around where you can stay here. They have like thermal hot springs. We have to come and like book a spa package for that and they start at like 70 US. So we are not doing that, but you can come and just enjoy the beautiful view in the cafe without spending a fortune. So now we're gonna show you guys what we took to get up here. There are lots of like different vehicles you can rent in Baños, starting with like motorcycles and bicycles to ATVs to a Jeep, like this one here. Come to our car. Not exactly the roomiest, but it's pretty fun. It's, it's gonna be nice to have this top down all day today. So 
we made our way up the hill and we're now at Casa del Arbol, which is like one of the big attractions here in Baños. Casa del Arbol translates to like treehouse and there's a treehouse here with a huge swing beside it and it looks like you're swinging over the edge at the end of the world. And I didn't realize, but there's way more than just the swing. There's also like, like viewpoints, jungle gym playthings, and there's even like a zip line. So the one dollar for the great views on a sunny day like this with tons of stuff to see, so far it's worth it. Oh <laughs> no. I'm not feeling the best. <laughs> no, I'm really hot. Kayla gave me a new sweater that's much cooler than my sweater, so that's a good start. Oh my god, I'm hot. <laughs> degrees out all of a sudden. It's been like 10 degrees all day. We go to the top of the stinking hill and it's like, here's a 30 degree day. Hope you don't mind. But I'm fine, it is gorgeous here. Like it's so beautiful here. It's only a couple dollars. I know, yeah. It's worth it to come up for sure, I'd say, if you have a way to get up here. I think we're gonna try to take the swing at the end of the world and make it look like we're falling off a cliff on this way. That's what, that's what all the tourists do. <laughs> this isn't even the real swing. This is like the fake pre-swing. Cole's right. It is like the pre-swing towards right before the bigger swing over there. But hey, I'll take a free pre-swing any day. Yeah. Okay, I thought it'd be like a little bit gimmicky hearing about the swing at the end of the world. But now that I'm here and I'm seeing it, yeah, the swing's like right over the edge. It does look a little freaky. Kayla's hopping on. <laughs> Higher! Higher! Honestly, it's not a bad activity for like one dollar to get into the park and then one dollar to have a guy like swing you over the edge. A professional do it. So you probably didn't see a whole lot of me at that last stop with the swing. I started to feel insanely sick, so I just had to sit on a park bench while Miko had all the fun. But I'm feeling so much better. It's been a couple of days, and in those few days, Kayla and James have actually gone back home to Canada. We have this last day here in Banyos. We want to go and do one more thing before we leave the city tomorrow. Okay, there's lots of ways to get around Banyos. You can take a taxi, you can take a bike, you can walk around, or you can take one of these, like, I think they call them the Chivas. They're like party bus looking things. It's a bus with music playing, so we just call it a party bus. And we're taking it up the hill for like one nice view before we leave Baños. Okay, we're making our way up the mountain. Definitely on the right bus. This is pretty cool, you know, for six dollars, this is all right. Not sure if I'm doing a great job capturing it, but the higher that we get up, the more prominent the volcano across the other side of Baños is becoming. This is crazy, we've gone above the clouds. I didn't realize how high this hill was. How do you get out of these? <laughs> so we made a quick stop at a viewing point part way up the hill and we're actually able to get a really, really nice view of Tangararua. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's a <laughs> volcano like right behind Baños. It is looking extra majestic today. It's so gorgeous. It's so clear. Like I've yeah. never seen it this clear since we've been here. It's really beautiful. I think the volcano is still like 5,000 something-ish meters above sea level and it last erupted in 2018. So, oh man, that is, not, that is not that long ago. <laughs>
see these hands. All right, we are here. Welcome to the Hands of God, otherwise known as Los Mama, no, Los, Los Manos. Manos. Los manos de Dios. De. Los manos de Dios. So the views are awesome, but the hands of God leave a lot to be desired. They're just quite wee. They're very small. I'm not gonna lie, I expected something bigger. Like I'm pretty sure I've seen something like this in like Asia or something. Yeah. Like I haven't seen it personally, but I know it exists. Yeah, Vietnam. So I thought maybe we'd see something like that up here, but pretty small but still you can't beat the view it's though it's the view you come for that wraps up our time here in Baños which yeah. has been incredible so good honestly there's so much more you can do here like we have just touched, touched the tip of the iceberg for the things that you can do when you're exploring Baños so you've got to come and check it out for yourself if you get a chance but we've loved it here yeah we had a great time and with that we'll leave you there see you in the next one thanks for watching and really interestingly and really interesting no interestingly not yeah. It's a party already. It's only 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> it's 9.30 <laughs> and the bar PM. is going. <laughs> uh, it's a really big like local spot for locals. 